right, I was back here shooting my bow a little bit again tonight, and you know, this is going to be a target panic tip trick for all of you finger shooters. Release guys, this don't pertain to you, or whatever, but this, since I'm a finger shooter, this is something that helps me try to control it for training, for brain training, but it, it's simple, and you might know it. So I'm just sitting here at my target. I'm only about four or five yards away, but this is the deep hook. And you guys know when you draw back, when you have that panic anticipation to release, you'll, you'll flinch and want to release and you'll catch yourself when it gets really bad. But sometimes I'll do the deep hook, not the first crease in your fingers, but go in between the two creases in your fingers. Axel, come here and, and, and get on that. I'll hook it that deep. Not for shooting accurately, but just for training. All right, buddy, go sit back over there. Wow. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to exaggerate this a little bit, but some people get so bad, and I've been there, to where you'll draw back, and if you do the deep hook, which you've got a good hold on that string, and this is not for accuracy, this is just for training just anchor in close to how it would feel normally and then as you're acquiring your sight picture some people will just well they'll they'll flinch and want to release and but you got that deep hook it just it does something with your your mindset like hey i got a hold of this string there's no way i can release so just sit there and hold hold until your arm muscles get tired Then just let down. Do that five times or so or whatever you want and then put your bow up. Don't even release an arrow. Because if you do, it might start a talk so of panic. That's you're retraining yourself. Yeah. Yeah. So you let your arms rest. If you think you can do it with your normal hook, which I usually go just in front of the first crease because I don't go right at the fingertips. I don't I don't feel any control there. Especially I shoot around 50 pounds, so what you know that. <laughs> you know. So, we're going to do the deep hook training method. Draw back and acquire your sight picture. And just focus on your spot. And I can hold this for a while. But right now, if I released, it feels like I would just smoke that thing. And just let her down. Yep. It's really simple. But if you're a finger shooter and you have that anticipation to release, do the deep hook. And I mean grab around that string. It ain't for accuracy. And Vesper, I have no idea what you're doing right there in your pajamas. <laughs> and uh, actually, I did never want her to get it, but she got target panic, didn't you? Mm -hmm. You wanted to shoot, and you were out there in the yard crying because you, you didn't even know what was happening, did you? Yeah. So, on the next video, I'm going to show you what fixed her and what fixed me when I used to shoot a lot of indoor tournaments. Yeah. Axe, you need to hold this steady, dude. I can't. Vesper, grab that and show them who's videotaping. <laughs> That's the video guy right there. All right, get it back over here. In the next video, I'll show you my secret weapon. When I was about nine years old, I got it real bad, and my grandpa got me this. And it fixed me. And they don't even make this thing anymore. But in the next one, I'll show you. And we'll shoot it at the target. And I'll explain what it is. Anyway, finger shooters, try that deep hook training method. Not for accuracy, just for training. I'm telling you, it works. And I've done it a bunch. And I know it can help you too. Here, come over here and we'll do a shot.
you're all back just close range training lock into your anchor push pull let her go we'll see you guys on the next video